it's the night of 18 June and tomorrow it's phase 2 in Singapore. Tomorrow, it's phase 2 in Singapore. I will be able to go out for work and so will many other people. So excited for tomorrow and I'm getting ready my essential items, my handphone to pick up calls and call people to negotiate and talk about deals, iPad which comes in handy for making presentations. I also will be going to Copper and Newton. I have a presentation there. Also have a shop house viewing at 3 p.m. Just got the keys from the owner today. And importantly, a battery pack just in case this device I'm using goes flat. Catch me tomorrow. Let me get my contact lenses. Okay, let's go to my first appointment. So busy this morning, I had to send my you see to school as you know I had to wake up so early at 7 haven't used this for a while now because of covid but I think it's going to be a bumpy ride and it's going to be fun so back to work today uh, officially viewings are allowed for property agents in phase 2 I'm feeling like I would say 50 50 it's like having a long break where you do most of your activity at home and now suddenly I need to be active, suddenly I have to do viewings. Wow, what's wrong with my stick? So it broke, bought from Petro Kiosk. Not so good quality, it's a spring, it was loose, so it was bouncing around earlier. Later I'll get a new one and then I'll carry on shooting. So here I am at my first appointment. I'm at an industrial area at um, Sims Drive near Geylang. It's going to be a personal appointment where I'm going to explore some ideas to improve my branding and my presence. Top secret. Catch you later. I'm here at my next stop at Copper & Newton where I have a presentation with a potential client and buyer. Thankfully, I'm here right in time. If uh, later I'll go in, I'll take some shots, take some pictures for you so you can see and Get to know about the project if you're not familiar. Also, I did a video on it some time back. Click the link above to learn more. Okay, I'm finally on my way. After this extended circuit breaker in Singapore, about two and a half months or so, I was just like at home most of the time, doing Zoom viewings, exercising, things have really changed a lot. And today, when I'm going out, I literally felt like my engine needed to be started again. Three appointments in, I'm so excited and so pumped to really get this going again. And what I'm feeling right now is really is telling me how much I actually enjoy my work. For anyone else watching this, I think this circuit breaker is really a good time to maybe let you reevaluate whether you really like the you really like and enjoy the work that you're doing. Because if you enjoy the work that you're doing, it doesn't matter how long a break or how long a holiday you have, you might take a while to really get your engine started. If you truly enjoy it after doing some of the actual work that you were meant to do as your career, you should be enjoying it once again. That's just my two cents. And now I'm on my way for my next appointment to do a shop house viewing at CBD. Hopefully I have time to catch lunch. I'll take some shots for you to see how the crowd is right now. Catch you later. Welcome back to the CBD. I haven't been here for a while now. It seems like not too many people. I, although now I look around and all the lots seem to be full. My viewing went pretty well. By the way, if you're interested, it's a shop house for rent for F&B use. It's very close to Telok Ayer MRT station. So if you want to target the CBD crowd, it might be a great location for you. And now finally at about 4, close to 4, I finally have time to have my lunch. It's been a busy day. Let's take a look at Amoy Food Centre. Seems like still quite a number of shops are closed. I'm going upstairs to take a look at the legendary fish soup Hanki is doing, if they're even open. Let me go up now. 
Oh well, I think they closed already and the auntie was like staring at me so I better turn off my camera. This floor, most of the things looks closed. So I guess I'll be having my lunch downstairs. Gosh, it's such a hot day today. Um, by the way, if you want to get a new mask, you're not too sure about the comfort of yours, I think this one is pretty good. Check it out, KF94. Uh, I got it shipped from Korea. Pretty good if you ask me. I haven't really been out a lot, but today I have been and I think it has served the purpose pretty well. Let me share a few things that I think number one, in terms of how work takes place has changed. For real estate, we realised that you can actually still close properties people still make transactions even though it's over video something that I myself or many other people in fact used to think that it's only possible when they can see the property because it's such an expensive transaction you kind of feel like the buyers need to see the property before they decide this circuit breaker has actually taught us that that's not true people are more than willing although the numbers are less but there are still a significant number who are willing to buy properties, rent properties just based on video alone. Quite impressive, isn't it? I think we have to change our mindsets on what is possible and what is not possible in the post-COVID era. Other businesses as well, I think companies will realise that employees can do their work so well even if they are working from home and sometimes in actual fact they might even be more efficient than in the office because you cut down travel time, back-to-back -back meetings without moving around, you know, it's so efficient and work actually gets done better and faster. That's one of my key takeaways from this period regarding work. Uh, let me give my fiance a call, maybe she needs a pickup. I have some time now before my next appointment and when I have a gap, I will come back and share with you what are my other learning experiences from COVID. Just got back from fetching my fiance back from school. I want to tell you about the second thing I learned from this circuit breaker period and that is to have time for yourself. How often during our normal, busy, hectic lives that we usually pack our schedules to the brim that we forget about ourselves. Happy to say that during this period, I actually went to learn how to play Go. Wei Qi is a game that I've been interested in for a while and I only managed to have the time to learn and pick it up during this period. I've also studied quite a bit on philosophy and religion. These are topics that I've been generally interested in but also never had the time to pursue. Some of my other passions are singing, which I use the Kaker, Kaker app and I had quite a few sessions with a number of my friends. So those are the things that I'm very happy to be able to catch up on. Things that I genuinely love, they are my hobbies but never had the time to. We seem to have so much time on our hands and can really explore things that we may have wanted to do previously but never had the time to. Thankful also for my diet, I have some bird's nest here, I have to thank my, my father-in-law for it. <laughs> and exercise, very important to keep up with fitness. I haven't been exercising a lot, in fact I got injured before the circuit breaker but I managed to keep up my fitness with regular exercise during the circuit breaker and actually right now, I'm going to exercise. So I'm all changed and ready to do my workout. And here's the workout I'm going to do, it's by Chloe Ting. One of my friends introduced her to me. Look, she has 10.5 million subscribers. I hope that maybe one day, if I keep this up, I will have millions of subscribers as well. Let's go straight to the workout. If you thought work is done for the day, not yet. This is an idea of how busy normal life is for me. Even after I pick my fiancé, after I exercise, I still have to go out for one more appointment. Thankfully, it's my last for the day. And where is it? If you watch any of my previous vlogs, you might be able to guess. It's in the west of Singapore and it is a three-word condominium. I'll show you where it is very soon. Did you guess it? Yep, those two twin towers ahead. Clement Canopy. Since I'm here, I want to show you right in front. See those structures over there on the left? There's going to be another condo launch coming right up. Also by UOL. Same developer as the Clement Canopy. You can see the hoarding being prepared up here already. Yep, so now I need to make a U-turn and go into the Clement Canopy for my last appointment. 
So I just managed to drive home after my last appointment. As you can see, the skies around me are all dark already. And I want to share with you my third and final point that I learned during this circuit breaker is that the importance of relationships and the importance of family. Again, we are usually so busy, we neglect our family. So this time is really great for me to spend time with them, have lunch, have dinner together, cook together with my mom, she's busy running around taking care of my nephews and nieces. So this time she stays at home, we have chance to cook and experiment with new dishes together, go to supermarket together, learn some household chores and take care of the family, which I found to be very blessed. And it's, it's great to have the time to be able to do that. So much so that today, as soon as circuit breaker is lifted and I can go out in phase two right now, I can feel the difference already because for the first time in two and a half months, I didn't have my lunch at home and my mom actually prepared some cut fruits for me which I was not able to eat and I usually do eat the cut fruits after lunch. And also for dinner, my grandmother asked me Bo jia la, which is in Hokkien and in English it means you're not eating dinner? I'm eating my dinner, yes, but now at 8pm only after I finish my last appointment for the day. So it really makes me realize the importance of family relationships and how much time we have not been spending with family when when times are normal and we are all busy with our own lives, meeting our friends, busy with work. Uh, with that, I hope you enjoyed this vlog where I talk about my circuit breaker experiences and share with you my learning lessons. Let me know in the comments below how was Circuit Breaker for you and some of the things that you took away from Circuit Breaker. I'll leave you with some of my favourite pictures during this period. Remember to subscribe. I'll see you in my next video.